In this video I am going to show you how to import points from Excel to AutoCAD using SWDTM and drawing contour map, L section and cross section of road. First open your AutoCAD and then SWDTM. Then open your Excel file which contains your survey data. Your Excel data should be standard format otherwise SWDTM shows error saying select correct range of data. Excel data should be such as first column contains serial number, second column contains easting or x-axis data, third column contains nothing or y-axis data, fourth column contains reduced level or z-axis data and last and fifth column contains remarks. Select all data without header that should be imported in AutoCAD. Now go to AutoCAD and SWDTM. Click on Points. Click on Import Points from Excel. Here you can increase or decrease the size of text I left default 0.25. Click Import Points. Now all your points are imported just double on your middle mouse key. Now we have to add boundary outside the all points. Go to SWDTM then draw and add boundary. Do not leave points outside boundary. Your boundary should be closed otherwise you will face problem when you draw contours. Now we have to process points to draw contour. Go to points then process points. Ok, here let it default and click ok. So now go to triangles and click on triangulate points. Then go to contour and then draw round contours. Okay I'm keeping it as default you can change contour interval, index contour interval and rounding factor, rounding factor smoothens our contour at sharp bends. So our topographic map is ready now. These are data of plain terrain so not many contours drawn. Now to draw alignment to ease drawing we have to isolate center line points which we have named in remarks as CL. Right click on mouse then go to find. I have named center point as CL so I am searching CL. Be sure tick mark on list results. Click on find and then click on select all icon on bottom right of pop up window. Searched center line data are now selected. Again right click on mouse and go to isolate, then click on isolate objects. Now it will show only isolated center line points. Now go to SWDTM and alignment then click on draw alignment. Then join all center points from one end to other end and hit enter.
Okay here we have center points of connecting roads so I am joining them also making alignment but it's different joining alignment it is needed in designing of road it does not affect our cross and L section so you can leave these points without joining. Now right click on mouse and go to isolate then end isolate so we call see all points and drawing appears. Here we go to points then process points, keep pop up window as default and click OK. Now go to triangles then triangulate all points. Now going to SWDTM contours and then draw round contours keeping sets as default. Our topo map is ready here. Now go to X section of SWDTM. And then click on section by DTM. So new pop window appears here to set up our setting. I need both cross and L section, so I tick the L profile and X section option. I keep chainage interval as 20 meter you can change as your requirement, then tick mark on right chainage to draw chainages also. I am leaving left and right distances as default 15 15 meters you can change it. Then select and save where you want to save cross-section and L-section data on your computer. Then it will ask you to select alignment linear for nearer to starting to draw changes. Select alignment near to starting of alignment. Here changes appear. Our road is 3 km and 702.85 m long. Now go to SWDTM and X section, then click on Draw L Profile and X section. Here we see two options that I am going to draw L Profile. Here I am leaving it as default you can set scale size along vertical and horizontal. Default scale size is 1 in 1000 in X direction and 1 in 100 in Y direction. Execute. Then click on Draw. Now give reference or origin point for L profile graph by clicking. Here our L profile is ready in scale and vertical scale 1 in 100, and horizontal scale is 1 in 1000.
to draw cross section you should be little more careful. Now, again going X section and then draw L profile and X section, and then draw X section. Again, pop up window appeared here keep include all changes as default ticked, and then below here I am keeping vertical and horizontal scale 1 and 100 as default. Increase number of columns and rows as here X sections will be many, because at every changes cross section will be drawn from 0 to 37 20 meter at every 20 meter interval. I am giving no of rows as 4 and number columns as 500. You can give 1000 or more but do not leave default to give sufficient number of rows and columns. Now execute and then draw all and give any point on AutoCAD to start drawing from. Here all cross sections are appeared.